and welcome. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome so much to uh, Helium Down Under. Uh, I'm your host, Ian, and this call is uh, is a little overdue uh, for those of you who uh, have started watching or subscribed to the Helium Down Under channel. You will have known that up until a couple of weeks ago, I was making an attempt to put out some regular content, but I'm afraid that life gets in the way of many of many great ideas. And well, unfortunately, I have been unable to meet the regular video update that I had uh, had anticipated. But anyway, uh, we'll move straight on into it. Obviously, this video is aimed primarily at the Australian New Zealand market, but. Uh, as this channel has begun to grow and obviously the appetite for, uh, for information on helium and our hotspots, uh, we have developed a, a bit of a following in other parts of the world as well. So for all of the viewers, uh, a big welcome, but especially to uh, the Australian and New Zealand uh, viewers of this channel. Uh, all right, what we're going to be focusing on tonight is a little bit of a catch up on what hotspots are available right now, what hotspots are on order, uh, what hotspots are coming. Because the, uh, the Facebook group, our Helium Early uh, Adopters group, and also the Helium Australia channel, uh, both fielding very common questions. And in fact, I'm also getting a number of questions through Facebook Messenger and all through, also through the comments on YouTube and that is well what miner should I be purchasing because uh, we're, of course those of you who have been viewing the channel for a while and maybe ordered helium some time ago you'll know that the availability of hotspots unfortunately has uh, far outstretched the capability of most of the companies uh, to produce and distribute hotspots in what we would probably consider a timely manner. But before we get uh, into actually looking at that, I want to look at something that's even potentially more exciting. And that is this big, beautiful map here right in front of us. This is, of course, the Great Land Down Under. And the last time that we showed this map on the, on the YouTube channel, uh, we, were only, we only had a couple of lights on Australia and they were, in fact, uh, old prototype units, if you like. Well, they were trial uh, helium units, not designed to be earning HNT. And, but the great news is that now we have got a network that is starting to grow. And right now, as I look at the map in front of me, we've got South Australia, which took the honors of... Actually, let's, let's zoom in. In fact, uh, I have already discussed with the owner of uh, the very first uh, hotspot, which was uh, Jumpy Corduroy Dolphin. I have actually spoken to Jay, who is the owner of uh, the three hotspots in South Australia, and uh, he's probably going to be watching this clip at some point, and he has agreed uh, to do a joint video with me sometime over the next couple of weeks where we'll interview, if you like, the, the very first hotspot owner to Australia and see his vision for uh, for Helium, the Internet of Things, uh, and uh, just basically what he sees happening across the country. So uh, welcome, as correction, uh, congratulations once again to Jumping Coideroy Dolphin, who was the very first hotspot. Uh, also in Adelaide, there are three units now. So but let's actually jump out of Adelaide for a moment. Uh, and let's go back to our list as general. Now we do have two units in Melbourne. But here's the thing, folks, for those of you who uh, may not be totally over what hotspots are, are legal in Australia and which ones are not. The unfortunate news is, folks, is that our two units uh, in Melbourne are Bobcat miners, which are not legal to operate in Australia. They operate, even though they still operate on 915 megahertz, they operate on a different channels within the frequency band and unfortunately, they overlap with Optus and Vodafone. Uh, so you can probably imagine those uh, big telcos are not going to be very, uh, very happy uh, when some helium hotspots start causing interference on their network. So it's quite possible that uh, the two units that we've got in Melbourne may at some point be turned off. Uh, 
but it is a particularly strong reminder, folks, for anybody that is looking to purchase hotspots. In Australia, you must make sure that the Helium hotspot is an AU915 unit. There is no exceptions. As we'll talk as we go through the various vendors that have hot, got hotspots today, you'll find that most of the hotspots that are applicable to the 915 megahertz range uh, will in fact automatically transfer to the AU915, but not in all cases. And in fact, Bobcat is one of those. It will not translate to Australia. It is possible that the units uh, in Melbourne, and also there are another couple of Bobcat units in Australia already, uh, it is possible that those units have been manually modified by the owners because it's not like it's totally impossible. Uh, it's just highly unlikely. So guys, unless you are a computer and radio whiz, I would suggest that you steer well clear of Bobcat. But anyway, Melbourne uh, has our two Bobcat units. Look at this. <laughs> this is really exciting for the uh, for the Apple Isle. Uh, Tasmania has got their first unit came online uh, probably a week ago. Uh, zip, zipping up to Canberra, we've got one unit in Canberra. Uh, we've got a few units that have popped up on the map in Sydney. Uh, now some of those are the older established units, uh, but some of them are the newer units as well. Uh, also up here in Newcastle. Uh, this is a, a nice little network that is growing up here, and I believe that there are more that will be joining this network in uh, in Newcastle. But of course, for myself, being in Brisbane, I'm uh, very excited to be seeing our network starting to grow here in Queensland. Uh, now we have three units down on the Gold Coast, and we have three units here in Brisbane. But Guys, as mentioned before, a couple of these are Bobcat miners. So uh, once again, I'm just going to stress it multiple times on this call tonight. I'm going to tell you what units you can buy to operate in Australia and New Zealand, which is what we all really want to know. But guys, I want to put it in big, bold writing. Bobcats are not legal in Australia at this point. It may change in the future, but right now Bobcat have no... Uh, have no appetite to spend uh, time or resources converting their units. So, um, okay, so there we go. There is our map of Australia as it stands. Now, currently, of course, nothing in Northern Territory and nothing in Perth. Uh, also, over in New Zealand, there is still only the one unit, which was one of those initial prototype units. So I'm anticipating that sometime in the very near future that there may, in fact, be a, a hotspot miner appearing on the New Zealand map. And for all my cuzzy bros over there, I'm really hoping that you get a unit online very, very soon. All right, so let's talk about the miners that are currently on order right now. All right, let's zip down to our list here. There was the original, let's zap across here. We had our original rack hotspot, our CalChip, of which right now, uh, CalChip definitely have the lion's share of hotspots that are spread around the globe. But as you will see here, uh, if you read through this, they are no longer taking orders for hotspot miners here in Australia or anywhere else in the world because they are essentially completely and utterly overwhelmed. Uh, there is a delivery schedule here, uh, which we, I'm not going to go, there's just too many variables on tonight's call. Uh, if you have got a rack hotspot on order, uh, you will probably know when your order is due to arrive. It could be anywhere from the next month through until potentially December or even January in 2022. Uh, I was fortunate enough, well, potentially, I'm not entirely sure that fortunate is the right word, uh, but I did manage to secure an order of a rack hotspot uh, approximately three weeks ago when there was a window where they opened up for orders again to Australia and it was leftover units from their lottery system which they have also since stopped running uh, but I did secure one of those miners hoping that it would be delivered in November however I am being a complete realist here folks I really do not anticipate that my hotspot from rack will be delivered any time sooner than Christmas maybe Santa might drop it down my chimney for me but I'm really quite expecting 2022, early 22 could be the delivery date of my rack. Uh, 
we will potentially do a an update call in the future but there are some other uh, great um, in fact there are some other video YouTube or rather youtubers who are doing a fantastic job on delivering content of the free of uh, when deliveries are going out I'll put those in the comments of this video because there's a couple of them that I'd like to uh, like to recognize and in fact I'll do a call out to them uh, in the next video when I'm a little bit more organized I raced home from work tonight and I just had to get this out because there's some new new information that is uh, come to light just today all right so rack hotspot you cannot order them even though you will find them on the uh, helium website as one of the preferred providers Okay, now we come across to the unit that, in fact, all of the legal hotspots that are operating in Australia at the moment that were not part of the original prototype run are all Nebras. Uh, they were all part of Nebra Batch 1. Uh, now, Nebra, once again, as you come over here, you will see that all of the frequencies are not even selectable. They are all sold out. Now you can put your details in here, and they will notify you when, uh, when the, excuse me, when the items are available for, for purchase again. But I really don't anticipate that that will be anytime soon. Uh, well, even if they are available for reorder, I really don't anticipate that they would be available for delivery anytime before. November, December, uh, possibly once again into 2022. My units are all from Nebra and I am part of batch four. And if we have a look down here, it says the batch four has an anticipated delivery date of July. Because here's the fact right now as it stands. Uh, batch one, as I, as I read from the Discord channel of, uh, of Nebra, is that there are many people from batch one who still haven't received their miner or their hotspot even though it allegedly left the factory in China uh, approximately two weeks ago. Uh, so somewhere in shipment, but basically batch one, had, not all of them, there's about 200, uh, two and a half thousand I believe in batch one. And at this point only approximately a thousand of them are actually on the blockchain as we speak, uh, approximately. Uh, Allegedly, batch number two and part of batch number three will be, uh, correction, uh, batch two will be rolling out the door today, apparently, according to what the Discord channels say, uh, which is in line with their initial assessments here of June, because we're still in June at the moment. So look, folks, I got to keep my fingers crossed and I'm relying on the folks at Nebra are uh, true to their word. Uh, guys, we all know that obviously we're in a, a global pandemic. We've probably seen the news with the various components, uh, computer and electrical components being in massive short supply. Obviously, the company owners for Nebra, for Rack, and all of the companies, with the exception of Bobcat, none of them are based in China. And that's where the manufacturing is. Nobody can send any representatives over because of obviously COVID restrictions that we've got around the world. Uh, Bobcat obviously has people on the ground. Uh, right now, Bobcat are actually keeping a pretty good delivery schedule. Uh, Nebra, well, remains to be seen. Uh, scrolling down here, batch four, shipping in July. I'm trying to be positive guys but at the same time i don't want to set myself up to fail or uh, set myself up for disappointment so i'm going to be anticipating august for my delivery and if they arrive in july as anticipated guys i am going to be cheering and there will be a nebra hotspot uh, hooked up to my hnt magnet that is on the roof that you've probably seen the video for everything else is in place i just need the hotspot to throw up there and we'll be uh, we'll be cooking with gas uh, now i do know that there is a significant amount of people uh, in batch five now batch five they're anticipating the end uh, end of q3 2021 which means that we could be rolling into 2022 there but there's nebra you can't place any orders for them at the moment i would be reluctant to order from them even if they do reopen to orders 
uh, until the proof is in the pudding that they are starting to roll out the door in mass production as they have uh, said that they're going to. All right, so there's Rack and there is Nebra. Now let's talk about the unit that we can buy here in Australia right now. And this one came out of left field. I really wasn't expecting this. And this is the Synchrobit Hotspot Miner. They are available for order right now and they are the only unit which is currently available to the AU915 band as it stands right now. So as you can see, the price is pretty expensive compared to the other hotspots. So guys, I'm going to give you, uh, I'm not going to say it's a recommendation, but I'm just going to raise it front of mind to you and say that the Synchrobit is significantly more expensive than the other units. And as far as my research has determined, there is no difference between the Synchrobit, the Rack, the Nebra, uh, the, the Lynx Dot, or any of the other hotspots that there may be on the market, with the exception of obviously how it looks. It is a quite an attractive looking unit. It is also quite small. Uh, in dimension, so it's you know, maybe looks really nice in your house. Uh, and if that's worth an extra 200 to $250 US, well, well let's, let's just say uh, $200 US, then you go for it. But frankly, I won't be ordering Synchro a bit, not at that price, because the other options that are coming onto the market soon are far more affordable. So Synchrobit, if you have not ordered or you have recently ordered as we roll on down the page here, if you ordered after uh, June 10, then you are projected to ship in October. Now folks, I didn't spend a lot of time on the Synchrobit uh, Discord channel because at that point they weren't distributing to Australia and I had no desire to pay the cost. All that I know is what I have picked up through the few times that I have dropped in there and the back channels uh, that I've picked up off the rack and also the Nebra Discord channel is that Synchrobit have been copying a fair amount of heat for not meeting their uh, stated deadlines for those people around the world who have purchased units for Europe and the US. Uh, I do believe they are still pending FCC approval, uh, but as the literature has stated, they are, they now do have the RCN, RCM, RCN, whichever it is, uh, validation for Australia, so they are legal here, which is fantastic. Uh, but October is when they're projecting, and let's just assume that they will fall into the same problems that everybody else is facing, October may not be met. So don't be surprised. Set your expectations at a correct level. And I tell you, if you've only recently started, uh, started following the Helium network, if you've only just recently ordered a hotspot, you were probably in the same place that many of us, myself included, were two months ago when we were dead certain that they were going to be in our hands within a month and a half to two months. And well, you know, uh, the people in Australia that have the Nebra units ordered in January uh, and they received them in June, six months. So guys, I'm not about to say that it's not going to be October. All I'm gonna say is set your expectations right and be prepared for them not to arrive in October. Maybe be, maybe be looking at maybe November, December, but perhaps any delays have already been programmed into this estimate that in fact it may be delivered earlier than this. So there we go. That is Synchrobit. It is available right now. So if you want a miner right now and you can't wait, get yourself a Synchrobit. Okay, the, now is where we're going to go into our uh, two units, or rather three units. And we'll start with the unit that many of you will have seen me talk about on prior videos and that is Linksdot. Now I have been talking with uh, Adrian who is the director and founding member of Linksdot uh, and his latest correspondence from three, day, three days ago is here in front of you on the screen right now. Uh, so the Linksdot has CE certification which is for Europe. Uh, they're still waiting for FCC reports to be finalized uh, and the Australian uh, 
certification is sort of like a combination of the two of those or a bit of both and generally when you have CE and FCC then sort of by default you're also qualifying uh, for Australia as well. It still does need to go through, through certain testing but to get it into Australia is, uh, is pretty easy from what I understand once you have those other two. Right now though, it does not have uh, legal clearance to run in Australia uh, which is really not that big a deal because they haven't even been made yet. <laughs> so, um, but I just wanted to bring here the timeline that the timeline that they are working to at the moment. When you when you may have seen one of my earlier videos, we were looking at July, and then it was July August, and now it's September October. So Links Dot are suffering from the same issues that everybody else does, uh, except in this particular case here, Links Dot like the next three or next two suppliers are not necessarily being hamstrung by shortage of components. They may in fact also have shortage of components, but their biggest issue is at the moment is that they are in the DY uh, uh, HIP-19 certification process with Helium. And uh, obviously, if you've been watching the Helium map lately, the map is exploding, guys. It's gone from like 25,000 hotspots to in excess, in excess of 60,000 hotspots in the space of about two months, two and a half months perhaps. And it's probably, again, if you've been following the Discord, you've been following uh, Facebook, whatever it may be, uh, you may have noticed that the blockchain is not really coping terribly well. Uh, it's having a lot of slowdowns and needing to do a lot of manual work to keep the system running. Uh, it's just, I think the network has sort of grown to a level that was far in excess of what Helium had ever anticipated. Um, and right now, from my perspective here, whilst at one, si at one side here, this is a negative, but on the, on the larger side, it's a much bigger win for all of us. And that is to let's get the validators over the line. As soon as the validators come online, our problems within the blockchain stability and the likes is going to virtually vanish overnight. Of course, with that also, we'll go a, per a percentage of, of our uh, earnings or potential earnings because not everybody earns uh, on the, uh, the from uh, based on a on a validator um, payout. But anyway, so that's so if the validators come in, the blockchain will speed up. But that's a whole different subject. Right now, the Helium team have been focusing on keeping the network stable, and consequently have not probably had the resources, this is my opinion here folks, nothing that I know for absolute certain, but I don't believe that they've had the resources to really uh, look at the all of the other providers that are coming on board or looking to come on board. And I'll just show you a document here very quickly. This is the Helium, Helium Hotspot Tracker, if you like, or all of the units that are looking for certification. Now the ones all at the top here we look at, uh, we've got Rack, we've got Nebra, we've got Long AP, Synchrobit, uh, Calchip, which is also Rack. You know, all these ones at the top here have already been through their certification process. But then as we go down, you'll find we've got uh, Seed, which we'll talk about in a moment. We've got Broan, uh, we've got Freedom Fire, which is actually not a hotspot. That's Freedom Fire is looking at the 5G network, but they're in the process. Scroll down the list here, folks. This list is getting to be huge. Uh, so consequently, the Helium team um, are trying to work with all these people. It's this group here, uh, the DY group, that look at going through all these applications. And I believe there's only a couple of people in the DY group, and essentially they're just being a little bit swamped at the moment. Uh, so there are a lot of people, a lot of companies looking to come on board. We'll cover th the three closest uh, that are applicable to the Australian market. The rest of them you can research yourself. So let's come back to in here. Let's go back to Linkstot, which is where we were a moment ago. All right, so Linkstot. Let's talk about just uh, let's highlight where we are right now. You can't order these because they are they are not uh, they are currently still being assessed by Helium, which means they may not get across the line at all. But let's assume for a moment that they do get across the line because that's what I would expect based upon the communications that I've had with Adrian. Uh, the units, uh, the, the things that are particularly relevant here to us, let's hit the high points. They will be working in the AU915 market. Uh, some people have asked, 
how many units are Lynx Dot going to be shipping to Australia? Well, guys, I don't know that. I mean, Adrian has been very forthcoming with a lot of information, but he hasn't been forthcoming enough to give me exact figures, uh, and I wouldn't expect him to. There would be a certain amount of that that would be uh, you know, held in confidence for between he and his team. Uh, but let's see if I can find the... Uh, gee whiz, I did... I had it somewhere. I'm trying to think in one of the uh, one of the emails. Well, essentially, Australia is definitely on the on the map anyway, and they are on the map for distribution in the first batch that are coming out the door. If we roll down here to the uh, GitHub document, which was the document that they filed with Helium back at the start, this was the timeline that they had at that point, which was for manufacturing in July for distribution in August which is what we were originally working on. Now it's going to be distribution in September, October, based upon the clarification here. But the what I'm looking at here is how many in the first batch? Estimated 5,000. What I can say with complete certainty here, guys, is that we will not get 5,000 hotspots in Australia. <laughs> I know that we may look at it, and from our perspective, we think, my God, come on, we've got... We've got this huge country here. Let's go back. We've got this huge country. We've got no lights on it. Will somebody please send us some hotspots? But guys, we are small fish in this world. And it does not matter if if America, let's just pluck a figure out here and let's say there's 25,000 hotspots in America. And we look at this and their continent is absolutely plastered. Guys, it doesn't matter because... Right now, there were 25,000. Let's, you know, I'm just plucking a figure out here. 25,000 on the map. I guarantee that from the sales that have already that have already been made, there's another 50 to 75,000. And guess what? There's going to be another 75,000 people wanting to buy hotspots right now. They're just waiting for somebody to come online. They are such a big market. You go to Europe, just as big. You go to China, just as big. What do we have to offer down here in Australia besides meat pies, kangaroos, and Holden cars, which we don't even have anymore because we couldn't, we didn't even have a big enough market to support our own brand of car, for goodness sake. <laughs> um, so as sad as it is, guys, we are not the center of the universe and uh, any company that provides units to Australia, we should be pretty thankful to them because we are a small market. Uh, I, I have a motorbike, or I'm actually just about to sell it, uh, very soon, but the motorbikes in Australia, we've got such a small range to get parts sometimes is months to get them because they only send, I believe it's less than 5% of the motorbike market is in Australia. And I'm going to guess that the hotspot market is pretty much the same. So anyway, 5,000 is what they're working on in the first batch. How many will they send to Australia? I'm going to cross my fingers and hope to goodness that maybe they said maybe Adrian sees the potential here. He sees the excitement that we've got brewing and he sends uh, maybe uh, 20%, maybe 1,000 units to Australia out of that first batch. I'm really hoping uh, it'd be nice for even more, but I'm going to be thinking here, guys, just thinking purely on a commercial basis. Uh, if I was the owner of Lynx Dot, where would I want to send them to? And I'm going to send them to the biggest market, and that's going to be Australia. It's correction, uh, definitely not going to be Australia. It's going to be the US and Europe. So I don't know how many we'll get here. I, I'm, I'm not going to insult Adrian and, and ask him because at the end of the day, it's really not going to make any difference anyway. We get what we get. Uh, but they are coming, guys. They are coming. And I believe uh, you can record your details on the Lynx dot website. I would also suspect, I would also suggest uh, that you subscribe to the uh, Twitter Twitter account of Lynx dot as well as all of the other companies because many of the announcements are actually being made on Twitter before they're being announced elsewhere because most of these other companies don't have a an, a, a channel on the um, on the uh, uh, yes on the Discord, <laughs> drawing a blank there for a moment on Discord. Uh, so Twitter is the best source of information. Make sure you follow them up. Uh, you'll be able to read a bit of information here from Links. Uh, what do we got? Okay, so how much were they? Let's have a look. So these ones here, price point estimate only at this point until they're across the line. Three hundred pound. Convert that to US dollars. We're talking about 415 US dollars. Is that shipped 
I don't actually know. I suspect not. I suspect shipping would probably be more on top of that again. Plus, if you're in Australia, you will need to allow duty. Uh, now, here's a bit of a... I'm not going to give you legal advice, nor would I ever give you financial advice. I do believe that if you order any electronic items into Australia and the order, the total order, has a value of uh, more than $999, that you will be charged duty on point, on top of that, which I'm not actually sure what duty is. I don't know if that's GST or what it is, but you actually, you're charged more as tax. If it's less than $999, and I'd be happy to be corrected on the figure here, guys, but uh, I believe that's what it is. I think it's actually $1,000 is the, is the round number. If it's less than that, you sometimes manage to slide under the radar. Now, my orders uh, are under that, so I'm hoping that I don't have to pay, but be prepared that you may have to, especially if you order three or more. So uh, anyway, so there we go. There's the price for Linksdot. Is there anything else that I really need to sort of tell you about that one? Uh, at this point, they don't have, uh, they do have CE certification. Uh, the FCC is not far away, and I think I covered that right back at the start, is the uh, Australian, um, Australian, certification uh, is is not done yet okay so we'll leave uh, we'll leave links dot uh, I would recommend getting your name on their website let's have a look these next two this one here has been getting an enormous amount of attention on the discord channel and this is SenseCap, SenseCap n1 or seed studios now guys, I'm just going to show you something here and then I'm not going to spend a great deal more time on this because the big thing is here, are they going to be available in Australia? Now you go to the Discord channel, man, it's so confusing. Nobody is really answering the question specifically, but I have found what I believe is the answer here in their frequently asked questions. And from what I can tell, this is pretty clear cut. It says, uh, will there be uh, AS923 AU9, it says 914, but the, guys, there is no AU914. I believe that was probably just a typo. So I'm going to guess that's, it was the, is there going to be an AU915 and an IN865 or other frequencies? Okay, and then, then here, their answers. US915 with FCC and EU868 with CE are available. Other frequencies are not supported yet. Uh, we hear... Uh, we hear you about the need for other frequencies, but essentially, guys, our team is focusing on the supply chain and manufacturing for those. For other certification varies, it may take more time. We're going to investigate. We'll keep you posted, so on and so forth. Guys, once again, we're a small fish in a really big sea. Uh, I don't think that based on what I'm reading here, that as much as I would like to think that Seed Studio SenseCap are going to make their units, which let's have a look at them here. That's a picture of their unit. Uh, so look, see if it comes up. That's their unit. They're a really nice looking unit. Uh, this is the advert, this is the uh, the post that I've seen in various places. They're a great looking unit. I got really excited thinking these were going to be available uh, because early indications were. And there's a lot of people in our Facebook group who are sending me messages going, oh, these, these things are going to be available really soon. Should I order one? Should I hold off? Guys, my, my recommendation, my, my suggestion is that if they do not, if they're making a claim saying that they're not going to be supporting us yet, there's a high probability that they're not going to be supporting us anytime soon. They probably will, just like Synchrobit, turn it on at some point down the track when the US and European markets are so saturated that their sales are just dropping through the floor and that's where maybe when they'll look at opening up other markets. At this point, I wouldn't be holding my breath. But uh, let's just have a look here at the units. This is from the, uh, from the GitHub. Uh, they were looking, especially, sorry, they were initially expecting a release date of June 21. Obviously, they, like all of the others, are um, a bit challenged at the moment in that department. I'm looking down here for a cost, which I did see at some point. Uh, or maybe I didn't see the cost on this particular unit. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. But look, anyway, at this point, really, the cost is uh, is not 
super important anyway, given the fact that even though their literature in here says that it will be including da 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 da, including AU 915, guys, let's go back to their FAQ. Uh, is that they will be currently focusing on supply chain manufacturers of 915 and EU 868. So, guys, there you go. I wouldn't be. Wait, I did try and get some more clarification over here. Oh, it's gone again. The, the questions keep popping in and popping out of this uh, FAQ, but I did ask them to clarify if they would definitely confirm that AU 915 would, would or wouldn't be serviced, and they directed me back to this FAQ question 5, which is here. So there you go. Uh, follow them on Twitter. You may see that things change at some point, but I don't anticipate it. So there you go. There is uh, SenseCap. But here's the one that I found today that is really quite exciting, but I don't want to get too excited because I've been disappointed many times by this Helium journey trying to get the hardware into Australia. And at Seed Studios, the one we were just talking about. Uh, that's SenseCap. That's not the one I want to look at. Uh, this is the one I want to look at, which is over in this window, which I'll bring it in here. And ta-da! I don't know if anybody is even talking about these guys here. Helltech. Where did I pluck this from? Well, guys, when I was having a look through the tracker here today, uh, a fresh look through it, Helltech, I noticed that they have managed to get um, a certification is in progress, which is fantastic. And they have also got a sample which has been sent to the Helium team. So they are in the process. Now, at this point, I don't have any solid information on their intent to service the AU 915 market immediately. But if we come back here to uh, their initial document that they serviced or that they have placed on the GitHub, uh, we come down, great looking unit fan, absolutely brilliant, looks amazing. Uh, Laura supported bands AU 915. Now, just because their equipment is capable of working on this band, will it be a priority? I don't know. Uh, and guys, there has been very little talked about this unit, and I don't know why, because when you come and look down here, their timeline, uh, pre-sales expected July 10th. Guys, this is only a couple of weeks away, maybe a few weeks away, and shipping in early August. I don't know at this point if they can meet this timeline or not. I'm not sure if they've been delayed. When I when I look here, uh, it was talking about DY verification in June. That's where we are right now. We come back to that uh, spreadsheet. That's where we are. So guys, these they're on time. They're on schedule. So assuming that their supply chain is in place and that they do get their certifications in line over the next couple of weeks, and then they go through the usual onboarding and manufacturer. Guys, it may very well be that this unit here, the uh, Helsec, uh, correction, Heltec unit, could in fact be the first unit into Australia outside of the units that have already been ordered. They may even be Linkstot. I hope not, because I've really got an enormous amount of faith in what uh, Linkstot is actually uh, looking to deliver for us. Excuse me. But these guys are uh, on the board as well. So once again, like the other units, I would suggest you go to Twitter and you follow them. Uh, they don't mention a lot about Helium on their, on their Twitter channel. This is the unit that the... Uh, helium unit is modeled off. So this is the helium specific unit. We come back here and if you read through their literature, they said that the helium unit will be a modified or an enhanced version of the H2 M, uh, M, M02 LoRa gateway. So here we are. Uh, that one has a value of 410 to $510. Uh, that's US. Um, now, as it stands at the moment, they do actually have uh, you know, there's a lot of different things that you can choose from here, but this, folks, just to let you stress here, this particular area is the non-helium unit. The helium unit itself will probably be a little bit more locked down, is my guess. What it will have, 
I'm not entirely sure, uh, but it looks pretty good. And check this out. Estimated price, $369 US. Now, that's only an estimate. Um, I am going to suggest that it's probably going to be uh, pretty close to the price of all of the others. I'm going to guess around 400 is what the, the, the final price will be. But folks, this is really exciting. I When I saw this today, I my, my mind blew because I thought, my God, where have these guys been hiding? I haven't heard of any YouTubers talking about them. If they have, well, I've missed them and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm listening to all the guys. In fact, I'm going to be sending them a message after this one uh, with a link to make sure that they go and check them out so they can uh, they can work on them for their particular networks. And guys, here they are up here, Hel Heltec. They've got the ticks, in the they've got just as many ticks in the box. In fact, they've got more ticks in the box than Linksdot because Linksdot don't have their uh, certifications in there, even though right now they have got CE according to Adrian's uh, communications and they're working on FCC. So within the next week, they will also have this box ticked, which puts them on on par with Heltec. So there you go. Guys, that's, that's where we're at right now. Uh, Australia, where are we going to order from? <laughs> Who knows? Um, we are waiting on orders from Rack. We're waiting on orders from Nebra. We're now also waiting on orders from Synchrobit, but you can order from Synchrobit, which is a huge plus. Uh, the next best option, as far as I'm concerned with, is Linksdot. Uh, Linksdot is the one that I've been working with up until this stage. Uh, get your name on that website. The, uh, the other new one is, the, uh, is this one, the Heltec unit. Uh, the ones that I would be crossing off your list at this point, or rather, keep it on your radar. Sense cap, keep it on your radar. Okay, these guys will be probably the next one, the next uh, helium hotspot that are literally uh, putting units out on the blockchain. But as a stress, they do not look like they are going to be focusing on Australia at this point. If they do, I did read somewhere on a Discord that it said uh, that they uh, they can, may potentially ship a very a uh, it was essentially they were saying a very small number to Australia but that was only if they got the correct certifications and then it was after that that I read the bit saying that they're going to be focusing on America and Europe so I don't know which one of those is current anymore and it doesn't seem that anybody in the discord is willing to actually answer the question directly but there's nothing unusual about that in discord when it comes to uh, helium hotspots it seems hard to get a, a solid answer anywhere all right, so this, uh, incidentally, guys, if you're interested in uh, seeing this document yourself live, okay, so go up to the Nebra GitHub. And no, not the Nebra GitHub. Well, you can go there if you like, but that's not the one you want to go to. You want to go to the Helium GitHub. Type into Google, GitHub Helium, and it'll bring you to this point. This, this little link down here that says HIP, that's Helium Improvement program I believe it is uh, click on that this lists all of the hips uh, you scroll down the bottom here is the uh, correction there's the hip 19 third party manufacturers as it stands at the moment the ones that are approved the ones that are in discussion now the smart mimic says that they've been approved that was the unit that we were looking at back here from SenseCap. Uh, I think that's correct or did I get that wrong oh, there's so many of these things Hard to keep up with them. Tracker, since cap. Oh, maybe it is, maybe it's not. I'm confused now. Um, but the, what I wanted to show you is down here, the most up-to-date status viewed here. Click on that link and that will take you to this document. So guys, you can keep up to date live yourself. And I suggest guys that you really do start following this stuff because it really does help to set your expectations uh, at the correct level. Okay, look, I have gone on so much tonight. There has been so much, uh, so many suppliers that I've wanted to talk about. I, uh, I realized that this call only answers probably a half, well, probably less than that, probably a quarter of the questions that people, uh, especially in Australia and New Zealand, have got right now. Um, on the Helium network. What I'll tell you in, in summary here, guys, it's going to be huge, okay? It really is. The Internet of Things is an industry uh, which I believe 
is the next equivalent of the internet, the next mobile phone. I, be I believe personally that the internet of things is going to be huge and will be around for decades. Uh, and what we, are what we are providing is the people's network, an alternative to the commercial uh, internet of things networks that are out there. Ours will be global, it'll be decentralized. Uh, so it doesn't have a big brother watching it, etc. I, I can just see it being absolutely massive uh, based on the size of our map that we're looking at right in front of us right now. Uh, we have a virgin territory. Uh, I know that it's uh, there are already many thousands of people based on our Facebook group. Let's just bring up our Facebook group for a moment. Uh, if you're not a member of our Facebook group yet, guys, uh, I hope no inappropriate photos jump up on my screen all of a sudden. <laughs> uh, the Helium, here we go. HNT Australia, early adopters. If you haven't joined the Facebook group, get on board the Facebook. This is the largest group in Australia. We've got 3.6 thousand members. Uh, there are some other uh, Helium channels that are around the country, but this is the biggest uh, that is here right now. Uh, in addition to that, there are a couple of states. I know for a, a bunch of my uh, Queensland colleagues, we've got Helium HNT Queensland group. As you can see, we've got just under 500 members. Uh, there's, a, there's also a group down the Gold Coast. There's one in Sydney. There's one in Melbourne. Guys, they're all over the shop. Uh, but I would just suggest that initially, at the very least, so that you've got your finger on the pulse and you're seeing what's happening, uh, join the Helium HNT Australian Early Adopters. If you're looking at this from outside of Australia, guys, it really is an Australian-based uh, channel. I don't see a great deal of benefit in any of you joining. Um, you're quite welcome, but you will be asked to answer some security questions at the start, which might be a bit difficult for you to answer. And uh, for all of our Aussies that haven't joined the Facebook group and that you do jump on board, make sure you answer all the questions. Give us the content because it's all about keeping the group secure and free of bots and spammers, um, of, of which there is an abundance out there. Alrighty, guys, I think that's it. I've been talking for goodness knows how long, way, way longer than I had anticipated. Get on board, get yourself a miner. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments. I would really appreciate uh, a, a like and a subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so. Uh, I do this channel with a focus of keeping us here in Australia informed. I want to be I want to be part of a huge community that is just so massive and so strong and so cohesive. And one of the ways that I can help make that a, a reality is by this channel. So uh, subscribe, like, and we'll see you on the next video. Cheers for now.